my name is Raul. Uh, the name of my project is Hack the Elmo, Elmo for short. And what I have set out to accomplish is basically I would like to control this Elmo doll using a remote device such as my iPad or a tablet computer. It's been very interesting um, doing this project. Um, I've had a lot of fun. And the use the end user is basically supposed to see something new. Um, Hey, get out! Get out! The user is supposed to take out of this, I guess, it's just something new. Um, I've never seen this done before. Um, I guess I'll be the first. Um, I, I don't know. I've, um, from the, the research that I've done, um, people have hacked the ammo in different ways, meaning, like, for example, they hacked maybe the voice box, but what I've done is I've actually taken the controls like that activates the chest, the nose, the eyes and I've removed it from the physical Elmo and I've transferred it to the iPad so when you press a button on the iPad um, the, the actions that's on the iPad will basically replace the actions that will happen from the Elmo um, it's supposed to be an entertaining experience. The kids, um, it's obviously a toy. Um, I don't, I don't see this being mass produced in in the future, at least not the way things are right now. Um, it's very big, it's very clunky, has a lot of wires, but the kids love it, as you can see. I I tried to take apart the head and make it so that the head would turn, but the way the doll is constructed it's basically impossible for, for, for head motions so I, I abandoned that idea but this has been very interesting um, I, I've learned a lot um, I actually burnt out one board from one Elmo and I figured that was the end of the project but I I actually burnt out the the first um, motherboard in the first Elmo that I had and I figured that was a devastating loss because the entire Elmo was ruined but um, it actually turned to be a, turned out to be a blessing because I was being very being very careful with the first Elmo and in being careful I missed a, a lot of things so what I did is once the first Elmo died I just totally ripped it apart, ripped apart all the circuitry, got into the, the machine and that's when I found um, there's a gyroscope in, in the feet actually of the Elmo and that was something I was looking for um, for a long while and it, it turned out to be great. Um, this is just um, an entertaining project, I, it, there's, I don't see it being mass marketable at least not in its present stage, maybe in the future if I get the circuitry down and maybe somehow incorporate it into the one device and then have an iPad separately, maybe that might be something potentially in the future. Um, the end user is just supposed to have fun, it's, it's, it's entertaining, um, the Elmo is a pretty animated, it's, it's a very animated character, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun just to see him and that's it, just have fun.